everybody. This is the lesson for Magnetic Fields 4.2. Um, I will quick go over, start this lesson by going over some parts of 4.1. Um, this lesson you had to look at each um, experiment and each evidence card and see if it was a valid experiment or not. See if the test variable was isolated. So in this lesson, I did go and do evidence card A for you so you could watch this one and have an example of what I was looking for. Um, and at the end, it asks which cards can you eliminate because it did not isolate variables. So I'll go over those ones with you now. And that's going to be evidence card B. Um, what the variable we're looking for to test is the number of wire coils. So that should be the only thing changing per experiment. Um, I do see that there is something else changed per experiment, and that is the placement of the sensor. If I want an accurate test and I want accurate results from different amount of coils, I would have the sensors lined up the same distance from the magnet in each test. So evidence card B is not valid and also D. And same thing here, we are, the variable we are trying to isolate is the distance between the car and launcher. So that should be the only thing changing per test minus of course the results that will obviously change per test but something that i'm controlling that i'm changing per test would be the rail material and if we are just trying to see the effect of distance between the car and launcher we would keep the rail material same in all three tests so card b and card d we would eliminate these evidence cards um, card C and A are valid because they only change the test variable per test. So because we eliminated those cards, now in this lesson today, you will have to run tests to get valid information from um, those cards. So for now we have card F and G, and that will test number of wire coils and the distance between magnets. So starting off, um, so question one is saying, how does the number of wire coils, I'm gonna hold that for you guys, on an electromagnet affect the strength of the magnetic force? So I want you to think about and describe how you will set up tests with isolated variables in the simulation to answer this question. So remember, like I said for this one, this is not valid because we are changing the distance, but we are trying to isolate the number of wire coils. So what will you change? That will be the number of wire coils. What will you keep the same? Try to think of everything else that you would keep the same in that test. And what will you measure? I know we haven't really gone over that much, but you can use this as an example. Um, and in this simulation, you know, in the Analyze tab, you do have that sensor option. So you can use that. Um, you'll do the same thing for this one, but this one is testing distance between the car and launcher. So you will need to take tests at different distances, and that's what you will change, and then try to think about these things here. Um, your goal is to gather reliable data about the effects of the two variables. Um, launch the simulation and begin your experiments. Remember to lock the magnets in place so that they do not move and if you need to and isolate your variables to make sure your conclusions make sense and are valid. So here um, all these reddish pink boxes are what you need to fill in. So you will be running this test and this test and filling in um, each of these boxes. Then down here, you'll take a look at each person's design and you can click them here to see them bigger because they're kind of small here. Um, and then place each card below that supports. So whichever, it will be a good idea to have this lesson open too. Whichever one here was the best. So maybe lining up all the magnets with their you know dark sides facing the same direction. Um, that would be evidence card A. So I'm going to find, okay, this one, Nevi's design has all four facing the same direction. So I'm going to put my best evidence card here. And then second best when I look here is when it goes in twos. 
so two up, two down, and that would be Dorian's design. So I'm going to put my second place one there. So just make sure you're, you're knowing that green is, you know, the best and yellow is second best. You can use this as a key. And then at the end, you'll take a look and see who, whoops, sorry, um, who you think has the best design based on their evidence. If it's, if they have all the best, and I'll tell you now, none of them have all the best. So everybody, you may have different answers here, and it's really up to you which one you think is going to be the fastest. And that is it for today. Um, you will need to complete this to finish tomorrow's assignment, which is going to be the final written argument explaining which one's the best and why, and then you will be done for this unit. Any questions, make sure you are coming to office hours for.